Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how to keep your kids or child safe from online predators. As we know as parents, the internet can be a dangerous place and it's important that you make sure that your kids are staying safe from online predators. There are such threats as Cyber criminals trying to steal their personal information to assume their identity. You've got cyber bullying and you have cyber criminals that also want to take advantage of your kids by extortion or sextortion. A lot of threats to think about. And as parents, you probably feel helpless as to what you can do in order to make sure that your kids are safe and secure online. Now, the easy thing to do would be to keep your kids offline, but in today's world, it's almost impossible as learning, oh, what's the word that I'm looking for? I should just say schools. I was trying to make it a little bit more complex, but we'll just say with schools, public, private, even online homeschooling networks will require you to be on the internet. It's important that you take the time to make sure that they're safe. So, what can you do? Well, let's look at some tips and talk about some stuff. So, obviously, kids are online on their devices all the time, but you have to understand as a parent, one of the challenges with technology is that it's addicting, and your kids' young minds are gravitating to those devices all the time, and app and hardware manufacturers purposely design these devices to keep your child plugged in all the time. So your first rule as a parent is to make sure that you limit where they go or where they go and what they are doing. And you can do that by having a conversation with your kids and just let them know about the online dangers of being online. Also, when you're having this discussion with your kids, especially if you haven't had it before, you need to make sure that you are setting the ground rules as far as how the technology that they have in their hand, namely their smartphone, is going to be used <laughs> so that they don't get themselves in trouble. So what does that conversation look like? Well, it basically looks like is my phone, my rule, but to expand out on a little more, is just apps that they're not allowed to download, if they're allowed to be on social media or not, and even time periods and the expectations of how long your kids are going to be on the devices. Now, under most circumstances, two hours a day is plenty of time, but maybe a little extra time on the weekend. But in my opinion, as a parent, less you expose them to technology and the more that you turn it into a tool as of a main source of entertainment, the better off they're going to be. Now, it's older kids, teens and tweens, may be a little bit more difficult because in order for your children to have that interaction with their friends, it's going to require a little use of a smartphone. So make sure that these rules are in place so that you're not fighting the constant battle of what it is to use and be on a smart device in your household. Now, the next rule or thing that you need to talk about with your kids is the whole chat room thing. Chat is where it's at. And unfortunately, and we'll talk about parental controls here in a second or a minute, but Parental controls really can't monitor what goes in or what goes down in the DM, to quote a famous rap song. It can't. And most apps and games have a direct messaging component to them. So as parents, you kind of need to watch out and make sure your kids aren't doing inappropriate stuff in the DMs and making sure in direct messenger that they are not causing any problems as well. Now, where can you find direct messenger? 
everywhere. It doesn't matter if your kid's on social media with TikTok or Insta. It doesn't matter if they're playing on their console, whether it be an Xbox or a PlayStation. If it's an online community, there is a direct messaging feature or messaging feature built into those programs. So beware. And the other thing you have to worry about, online predators hang out in direct messenger and that's where they begin the process of grooming your child obviously they're not going to post if your kids on social media on their wall that they want to connect and meet they're going to just reach out to them through direct messenger same thing with online drug dealers which is another problem that kids have to worry about online so what's the best way to make this happen well parents unfortunately you got to grab their device and check it out every now and then just to make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Hate to say it, but you got to do it. Another problem is those sexy photographs that <laughs> teens and kids want to send out. Now, you could be like this, dad, and embarrass your child and take your own quote-unquote sexy photograph. But with photographs, Children need to understand that whatever they post on the internet is going to stay forever. And even if they're using apps where the message disappears, it only takes less than a second to do a screenshot and have your friends repost that on another social media network. So explain that to your kids before they risk exposing themselves and having that photo online. Another problem with those sexy photographs is online predators are now starting to turn to enticing young kids to send out those sexy photographs so they can in turn extort those kids and get them to pay up because they know if a kid's got a smart device it's a good chance they've got a smart parent or a smart device owning parent who has a little bit of extra money to share online Predators and online criminals are ruthless, and parents need to understand that. You need to understand that if you're a parent. So make sure that you discourage your kid from sharing any nudes online because it can cause major problems down the road. Now, I know most of you parents out there are thinking, what about parental control software? And parental control software has its advantages as far as what you can use it for. You can use parental control software to set limits as far as when your kid is on their device. And every device has parental control software either built in or it's a quick free app to get it. Now, if you've got an iPhone, it's got it set up parental control software. Same with Android phones. You can create a master account or a sub account to monitor what's going on. Same thing with Apple. Now for Windows and Macs, Macs use the universal family share option that works on all Apple devices. Windows also has a family parental, parental control. I couldn't even get that word out. <laughs> parental control that allows you to set time limits and block inappropriate websites and apps. And parents, that's as far as it goes, as far as parental control. There's apps out there, or used to be apps out there, where you could monitor every aspect of the phone. And I will say that if you have an iPhone, you can definitely do this by allowing your kids to use the same Apple ID, or you create a family Apple ID that allows you to see what your kids are downloading and what apps they have on their iPhone. You could do the same thing with Android and duplicate that, but a lot of parents want to have that freedom or give their kids freedom to create it their own username and password. But initially, you probably should share one so that you could see what the heck is going on on their devices. Now, back to actual third-party parental control software, not much it can do other than set time limits. And the challenges with third-party parental control software is that the operating system changes and a lot of the app and hardware manufacturers don't want the parental control software on there because they want 
to keep your kids plugged in. That's why it's going to be come up to, or not become, but come up to you as far as making sure that you are keeping your kids safe online and making sure that they're going to appropriate sites. The best protection that a child can have on the internet is a parent who regularly checks their kids' devices to make sure they are on the up and up. Other parental control things that you can do or habits that you can create with your kids is to make sure that they are setting up no tech zones. So that way they're not getting in trouble by sneaking in their room and doing inappropriate stuff, whether it be bullying or sexting or any of that nonsense. Also, check their devices on a regular basis to make sure they're going where they're supposed to be and collect those devices and lock them up at night. Kids do bad things at night. You'd be surprised how many kids sneak on their phone and get up in the middle of the night to do stuff that they shouldn't be doing. So education is the key in making sure that you set firm rules as far as your kids' tech is one of the best ways to keep track of your kids and make sure that they're doing what they're doing. And when I talk about devices, I'm talking about every device that your kid uses. They have a computer, they have a smartphone, tablet, or even the school-issued laptop. Now, most school districts will send out reports so that you can see where your kids have been, and they have blocked most inappropriate sites. But if you're like most parents, you don't pay attention to that email that shows your kids' activity. So get on their device and make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do. And with that said, if you've got comments or questions about how to keep your youngins safe online, leave them in the comment section below. Love to hear your comments and to answer your questions. Now with every video, I always beg, please comment, like, subscribe, share, do whatever. I know you know someone out there that needs some tech help, so be sure to share this video. Make sure that they get the tools and the help that they need with their technology. My job is to open all of you up to a whole new world of ideas and experiences using your tech devices. I love technology, I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile and thanks for watching.